In this video we are going to uh, change the values and the names. Th this does get printed on the PCB in your silk screen so it's pretty important. And uh, if you want to use the selection filter you want to have attribute selected. So now we can change everything size right here in one clean sweep by grabbing everything going into to, uh, inspector and I'm going to delete all the values because I don't like having my values printed on the PCB. There may be a situation where you want them, but that's what your schematic's for. So when you print this, you have the name for each component, and then you can reference your schematic to know its value when you actually build this out. And now we can just use the move button and uh, go ahead and move these around and right click it to rotate it around where we want it. I'm going to turn the bottom layer off just so I can see a little bit better. Those uh, two colors are kind of colliding. Not super important where you put these. Just make sure that uh, it's it's outside the component's outline because uh, otherwise you won't see it. I'm constantly saving because you never know when it's going to crash, so I think it's always a good idea to save. So now we turn the bottom layer on. And one thing I uh, always like to do is uh, put text on here, and because our bottom of our board is pretty much all blank, we'll go, to, go ahead and uh, add some information. So this is where you would maybe want to put a revision number or uh, create it by number or any amplifying information that you need printed with the silk screen. And so I'm just going to put my name, what it is, a stable multivibrator, the date. And here it is, it's mirrored because it's going on the bottom, so that's why it looks like it's backward, backwards. And I'm going to put it right in between these two mounting holes. And it's a little difficult to see. As your schematic, it's crazy. Uh, you're going to love the layers, turning them on and off because it's going to help you keep everything straight. But, I mean, that's typical. That's when you have a large schematic, you got a lot going on. So now you can kind of see what it looks like. When we load this into uh, JLC PCB's website, you'll you'll see it a lot better too. And there you go.